My name is Andy Imperato, and I'm a 1987 graduate of Yale College. I uh, met my wife at Yale. Uh, we were both in Silliman College, both in the class of 1987. Her name is Betsy Nix, and she went on to be an American history professor. Um, I studied humanities at Yale, kind of fell in love with the Italian Renaissance, and ended up going to law school and ultimately becoming a disability rights lawyer. I think the impact that Yale had on me was uh, to help me develop uh, my commitment to social justice and my interest in taking an interdisciplinary approach to uh, kind of understanding uh, social movements and understanding history in law school is really when I decided I wanted to devote my career to public interest law. And since graduating from law school in 1990, I have been focused on disability rights as my career. Um, I had my first serious episode of depression during my last year of law school and ultimately got diagnosed with bipolar disorder. And I'm proud to say I've been open and out with my bipolar disorder throughout my career. Um, so I am now the executive director of Disability Rights California. And I came back to my home state of California last year after a 26 year career in Washington DC doing disability advocacy and policy work, including five years working for Senator Tom Harkin on the US Senate Committee on Health Education, Labor and Pensions. I would say, you know, my impact over my career has really been in the area of policy. I'm, I'm proud to have played uh, a leadership role in the coalition that worked on the Americans with Disabilities Act amendments that passed in 2008. Uh, that was a law that overturned four Supreme Court decisions that had narrowed the scope of who was protected by the ADA. And the problem that we were having is a lot of people who were able to control the symptoms of their disabilities with medication or other mitigating measures were having their cases thrown out because they weren't disabled enough to have civil rights protection. And that's not what Congress intended when they passed the ADA in 1990. And we were successful in 2008 with a very bipartisan bill that overturned those Supreme Court decisions. I've also had a lot of um, impact in the area of employment, really trying to open up employment opportunities for people with disabilities. I've had the opportunity in the last four years to plan four international summits on disability employment. The last one was in December of last year. Uh, we were able to attract over 600 participants from 50 countries to that virtual summit, which was a lot of fun to plan and to participate in. So, uh, you know, for everybody gathered at the IMPACT conference, um, I uh, am glad that disability is part of the diversity conversation at Yale and around the country. I feel like there's a growing recognition that we need to pay attention to disability as part of diversity. And I would say there's a growing recognition in the disability movement that we need to pay attention to all forms of diversity as they interact with people with disabilities. There's a strong focus on disability justice now, which is really about cross movement organizing and recognizing that there's a lot of intersectional identities that people with disabilities experience. And that if you don't pay attention to all of their identities, you're not gonna do a very good job advocating for them to be fully included in all aspects of society. So at Disability Rights California, we're very engaged on broad topics like police reform, immigration reform, uh, prison reform, and other issues that affect people with disabilities, but obviously also affect broader population. So um, I feel like I'm doing the work that I was put on the planet to do. I, I feel very blessed recently that I was appointed by President Biden to a COVID-19 health equity task force. We're having our first meeting on February 26th. And I'm really excited to work with an extraordinary group of clinicians, public officials, uh, civil rights leaders to really help learn from what happened in this pandemic and try to build an economy, a healthcare system, a labor market, an education system in the wake of the pandemic that is more equitable than what we had before the pandemic. 
So again, I wish you uh, the best of, uh, of luck in your conference. I appreciate the opportunity to share my story with you. And if people want to learn more about me or connect with me, I encourage you to follow me on Twitter. I'm at Andy DRC. So that's at Andy, A-N-D-Y, DRC for Disability Rights California on Twitter. Thank you very much.